Another day on the road. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? FXDLS Brooklyn is back in the building and we are coming at you live from here in Morristown, Tennessee. And my oh my, we rode into the evening last night and then got up this morning and started the day off properly at the old Cracker Barrel. That's right, Grandma's Sampler. Uh, bog Asphalt really wanted to hit the Cracker Barrel, so we made it happen. We are fueled up and we are ready to rip. And yeah, it's really nice riding into the evening last night. Excellent riding yesterday along the Blue Ridge Parkway all day. And then just blasting highway miles to close out the day. The usual crew of the 23 road trip, it's Vong Asphalt, the man in black. It is Kevin from North Carolina with the 124 Baker Trans Dyna SPB Fab. It is Old Man Armstrong, the classiest of the classy, the 99 FXDX. So far, so good. Crushing it. It is the old white flame Dyna, the FXDLS. Dude, that's how you gotta do it. It is the road captain, ready to crush more miles. You ready? That's road captain for yes. That's it, we are gonna make some miles. Let's get that start up, brother. Give a shout out to my uh, co-pilots, Devil Chick and uh, Pink Panther. Fog asphalt with the brake test. It's about that time. It's about that time. So yeah, I try to cover the good and the bad. I try to give you a glimpse of what it feels like to be on the long road doing the real miles, doing the bike trips with a crew of Dinas. And I find it important to cover not just the exciting moments when you're, you know, ripping twisties at a 3,000 plus foot elevation in the, on the Blue Ridge Parkway, but to also just cover the mundane moments, such as hitting up the Cracker Barrel and swapping stories with your road dogs. Because believe it or not, you know, I've been doing the bike trip thing for a long time at this point. It's actually the moments that are <laughs> pretty mundane, such as just chilling at the Cracker Barrel, that actually sometimes feel more memorable to encapsulate what the bike trip is rather than the big destinations such as the Blue Ridge Parkway or, you know, the Devil's Tower. It's the moments like this, when you're just peeling out, heavy day of miles, right? You get a good night's sleep, get a good meal in you, get properly caffeinated, pack your bike up, and hit the road. And it's this nomadic sense of having no permanent place, having this sense that you just are constantly moving, constantly moving, that to me is what keeps me coming back to do these bike trips. And it's like, it's weird because it's taxing and it's exhausting to a certain degree. Like you're laying down heavy miles, so are you always gonna get seven hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep? No, no way. So there's a sense, right? There, there is, There's definitely an exhaustion that comes along to doing these bike trips. But what'll happen is the energy of the trip itself as you get into it, 
kind of counterbalances the physical and mental fatigue of the long, heavy miles, especially in challenging circumstances. And that's what keeps you going. And yeah, to me, like I said, starting the day in the middle of the bike trip, in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, at some random cracker barrel, firing the bike up and hopping on the highway, this to me in a lot of ways is one of the most memorable moments of a bike trip. Everybody takes pictures and documents the big destinations and the big uh, locations and the fancy rides, right? But not everybody documents the mundane moments on the road. And yeah, you guys know You guys know me at this point. I am a I am a certified bike trip addict. You know, this is my riding style. This is what I live to do. I live to do the bike trips. Never gets old. And yeah, it just kind of always keeps me coming back for more. So you gotta enjoy the boring and mundane moments on the road. You gotta enjoy the mediocre cup of coffee with your road dogs. Even the simple act of routine maintenance, of checking the oil, checking the tire pressure, doing this or that, is the moments that I hold dear in my heart when I reflect back on my bike trips. So the plan for today is we are crushing miles about for two hours with the destination in mind to hit the tail of the dragon. It's crazy, I've been doing this damn thing for so long and that's one ride that has always eluded me. <laughs> so finally gonna do the tail of the dragon. And then what's happening after that is we're gonna hit the tail, enjoy that for a little bit. And then we are heading straight up north to make it to the 120th anniversary rally of Harley-Davidson. That is the plan. So we're kind of all over the damn place on this bike trip. I hope that you have been enjoying this bike trip half as much as I've been with my road dogs out here. I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of bike trips with a lot of different crews and this right here is a solid crew of really, really good riders, man. The roads that we tackled yesterday, you gotta be on your A game to do it, and to take five bikes and do it in a pack is definitely a challenge on its own, and we handled it. So that's it, we're gonna continue ripping some highway action. I hope whether you are doing the bike trips or whether you are doing local rips that you are staying safe and you are staying low. Keep that positive mental attitude. And on that, FX Fields Brooklyn is out.